Hello, hello, and hello, and welcome to Coffee and Coaching. I am your coach, Coach Michelle Monet, your certified life and relationship coach. And today I want to talk about five ways to get away from your past. Stay tuned. Have you ever been in position where you're trying to figure out how do you get away from the past? It seems to be haunting you. It seems to be getting in your way of new relationships, of your current relationship, of just your life in general. And you're just trying to figure out how do you get to the point to where you are no longer allowing your past to hover over you, to create havoc in your life, to make you feel bad, to give regret in your life to make you feel like you made mistakes and you just can't get past that. Many of us have been there. So I want you to know that first of all, you are not alone, but these are going to be five ways to help you do that so that you're no longer feeling like you're under this dark cloud from your past. So I want to give you an acronym about PAST, P-A-S-T. This is what I want you to remember throughout this entire time and whenever you're trying to get over something that's from the past. PAST stands for Properly Awarded Safe Travels. You are properly awarding all of the junk in your life, safe travels of your current life and your future. You want it gone. You want it to be gone away, not to be hovering over your life like some dark cloud making you feel bad like I talked about earlier. And the first thing you want to do is not give it credence. That simply means you're not going to live in it. You're not going to allow it to stay and rent free in your life and in your head and in your heart. You're going to make sure that you don't give it credence. Don't speak of anything that is not for testimonial purpose. If it's something that brought you pain, something that brought you sorrow, do not keep bringing it up over and over and over again like it's on repeat, stuck on repeat, some broken record. When you consistently speak of things that brought you pain, brought you dis-ease, brought you discord in your life, you are giving it credence. You are giving it life. You are considering it live, living. And if every time you speak of it, you're giving it more and more life. You've got to start to stifle it. You've got to start to put that fire out and not give it any more time in your life. The more time that you give it, the longer it stays around. The second thing that you want to do is replace those bad memories with good ones. It doesn't matter what the memory is. There's a saying that says it takes 17 times to overcome one bad thing. So you're going to have to keep making new memories, making good memories to replace those old ones. Yes, there may be some that may be bigger, if you will, than others. And you may have to take something that's big in order to get that big one away. But the more that you practice good memories, the more good that you bring to your life, as they say, good vibes only, the more you do that, the more you will start to fade away those old memories and they won't become as big as they are or they won't have as much life as you want. You want to stifle them like a fire. The same way that you would step on the fire to get it gone to, you know, if you ever had a campfire and you had the, you, you put something over it, you stump out the fire. It's the same way that you have to do those bad memories. Stump out the bad memories with good memories. The third thing that you want to do is you want to find the lesson in it. Make sure that you are looking at the things that are happening in your life as them happening for you and not to you. When you find the lesson in the challenges and the trials and tribulations that you go through in life, then they become power and fuel to your life instead of something bad in your life. You want to make sure that everything that is happening in your life is fuel for you to get to the abundant part of the, the life that you really want in your world. And when you create this as fuel and you create it as happening for you and not to you, then you make it you 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 add and make it add to your life and it becomes helpful it becomes a catalyst it becomes something that you use instead of it using you the fourth thing you want to do is take responsibility for your part in it yes there are things that happen to us 
that may not necessarily be a cause or an effect of something that we personally did. However, we do have some responsibility in certain things that have happened in our lives. And when you take the responsibility, you sit down and you ask yourself some really tough questions about what part in it that you actually have, then you, again, you take that power back because when you take the responsibility for it, you're standing up in that so that you can have the power. Remember this, anything that makes you sink removes your power, but anything that makes you sit stronger and sit higher by taking the responsibility takes your power back. As long as you have power in any situation in your life, you will always win. Lastly, you want to forgive yourself and forgive others of any parts that has been taken in this whole process. Doesn't matter what has happened. Doesn't matter what you believe that you have allowed to happen in your life. Doesn't matter who did what. You need to get to the place of forgiveness. Forgiveness is the ultimate power that you have in your life because it doesn't allow them to over uh, to take over your emotions, your feelings, and the things that you're going through. Remember this. Anyone that angers you, hurts you, or makes you feel some kind of way that's outside of your realm of peace, they control you like a puppet. And when they control you like a puppet, it takes your power away. So when you forgive someone, it's for giving them. When you give for them, you're giving for yourself. When you're giving that, then you are giving it and nobody has to take it away. But when they are taking over your life by making you angry, making you upset, keeping you depressed, they have power over you. As long as they have power over you, you don't have power over you. Remember, you always want to have power over your own life and not give it to anybody else other than the creator that created you. I hope this helped someone. Please make sure that you are subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so that you can get any of the videos that I upload every single Friday. I do drop a video every single uh, day that I drop at all of my social media platforms. So that if you're not on my social media platforms, you'll still see those videos because they come every single day. But I drop a brand new video every Friday morning that nobody has seen but YouTube. So I love that you, I love you guys for just showing up and uh, paying attention to what I'm saying today. Please make sure that you're commenting in the comment section. Tell me what you would think uh, about this whole situation. Have you been going through something in your past that you can't seem to shake? And if this helped you, because I would, I really want to make sure that what I am offering to the public, what I'm offering to you is going to be something that's going to be very helpful to you. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you the content that you want. I love y'all for real, for real. Talk to y'all later. Bye.